Hey class, I'm Mr Thornton and I'm going to help you get that C in your GCSE. This lesson, acceleration. Now you may see the equation for acceleration written as A equals V minus U over T or it has been written in the past and you may well see this at some point in the future as A equals delta V over T. That's a Greek letter delta. Both of which are pretty off-putting and complicated ways to write something that's actually astonishingly simple. Let me show you. That top term, v minus u, that's just a way of working out how much the velocity is changed by. That bottom term, that delta v, that just means how much has the velocity changed by. So has it gone up or down, and how much has it gone up or down by? I can understand completely why it looks intimidating, I can understand completely why it might be a bit off-putting, but just remember, all it means is how much has that velocity gone up or down by. Let me show you a worked example so you can understand what I mean. Now this is the sort of question that you might see on the exam. A car accelerates from 10 meters per second to 15 meters per second in two seconds. What is its acceleration? When you look at the formula, all you need to worry about is how much has that velocity changed by. So it's gone from 10 meters a second to 15 meters a second. So the change in velocity there, the amount it's gone up by is plus five meters per second. And the acceleration is just however much it's changed by five divided by the time that it takes, which in this case is two. Okay, so 10 goes to 15. It's gone up by five. So that is the number you stick on the top of your calculation there. Then just divide it by your time. When you work this out, and hopefully you've already been wondering what the answer is in your heads, but when you work that out, five divided by two comes out as 2.5. Now this calculation isn't quite done yet. We still need our units of measurement for acceleration. And all they are are meters per second per second, or to put it another way, meters per second squared. These are the most common units which you're likely to see in GCSE physics. If you learn one set of units, learn meters per second squared. So remember, this equation, although it looks intimidating, all it means is how much has the velocity changed? And of course, remember that your units, when you work out the acceleration here, once you've done how much the velocity has changed divided by the time, your answer is always going to be in meters per second squared. Acceleration is the only thing which has units of meters per second squared. Expect it to come up though. They love to ask that one. Good luck in your GCSEs, everyone. And remember, if this video was useful to you, like it, share it, and you can subscribe for more all below.